Hey guys, so I have officially lived in Utah for May, June, July, August, four months. And when we were getting ready to move here, we were warned, be, be prepared, there's going to be culture shock. Um, I really haven't had culture shock. If anything, because we live near a city, it's been pretty amazing. Um, the first part being that, um, there's always stuff to do. Um, there's always somewhere to go, even with the shutdowns and everything else, there's pretty much always something you can be involved in or, you know, go to, um, there's a local artisan group that does classes once a week and they do social distancing. Um, I asked my husband if we could do one of the classes, but he never answered me and I don't know if there's still spots left, so don't know if we're going to do that or not. Um, the next thing is there's paths, there's trails, there's bike paths, there's places to go fishing. If you know somebody with a boat, there's reservoirs that people go boating in. Um, there's lakes, there's just tons of things to do. Um, one of the thing I love the most things I love the most is the scenery. Um, it's kind of weird where we are because where we are used to be part of a salt ocean, basically many, many years ago before we as humans were really around, I think, um, needless to say, so where I live used to be the bottom of an ocean and, um, it's kind of like being surrounded by mountains. So it's kind of cool. Um, so you like, you look north, you see mountains. You look east, you see mountains. You look west, you see mountains. You look south, you see mountains. And granted, there is ways to get through it, but when you're just kind of standing there, it doesn't look that way. It just looks like you're surrounded, like you're in a bowl, for lack of a better word. And that's kind of cool. Um, we haven't seen a whole ton of wildlife. Um, one day I thought, I think I saw animals up way up in the mountain because I thought they were trees or bushes or something and then they moved. So it was definitely some sort of animal, whether it was a, a you know, a elk or a buffalo, I don't know, but those do both exist out here. Um, and so that's kind of cool. There are some elk farms near us, which is really awesome because you drive by and there's like hundreds of elk out there. Um, and that's pretty awesome. And around here, everyone owns horses. Like people with like small yards have horses. And that's really weird to me because I've never lived somewhere where so many people had horses, but you like literally will see someone with a front, like a fenced in front yard and a horse eating grass in the front yard. And it's very strange. So, I mean, that maybe is a culture shock, but not like a bad one. It's just kind of cool because I like to see horses. I just don't like to go near horses because they're smart and they know how to kill you. You know, it's kind of my thing. I don't like them. Um, but I do like looking at horses and I appreciate horses and how beautiful they are. Um, but a lot of people around here have horses. Um, and... Uh, there's now that things have really opened up more because there were some places closed when we got here. Um, there is every kind of food you can imagine. So there is Thai places, Korean, Greek, um, Japanese, pretty much you name it. It's probably here. There is a place here. We do uh, food delivery services and went to this one place to pick up some burritos and I, I'm not even joking when I say that this burrito was like two foot long. It was huge. And my husband and I both said, who would eat that? <laughs> like, that is huge. I hope that's for more than one person because it's huge. And it was like $12. So, I mean, it's not super. I mean, there are some expensive places to eat, but they're not that many. Um, <clears throat> and I mean, I know there's this uh, reputation that Utah has for being all people who are LDS. And it's really not. It might be mostly because we live near a military installation that there's just a good mixture of people. Um, but I mean, we have a lot of Hispanic people. I mean, there's every race around us and it's really cool because a lot of them are really happy to share their culture and, um, 
there's a, an Asian market, which I love. Um, I love going in there because I can always get really good fresh vegetables. Um, especially stuff you can't find like in regular grocery stores. Like I really love lotus root and I really love taro root. Um, taro root fries, my favorite. Um, and so you just like slice it up into little cubies and put it in the oven and done. Like it's nothing crazy, but it's got a really nice flavor and it's different than regular fries or potato based fries. Um, and so we make those a lot because we just go down, we'll pick up a piece of taro and come home and make fries. Um, but it's kind of cool to be able to do that. Um, something we weren't able to do anywhere else we've lived. So that's cool. Um, let's see what other things, well, the scenery. So I'm going to put some pictures here. Um, the scenery is beautiful. One of these photos I took, we were, we were delivering her food delivery service and the view was just amazing going down the road. It was just beautiful. So I took that picture. Um, and the other one, there is a waterfall near us called Ogden Falls in Ogden Canyon. And it's beautiful. And we've been there a couple times just to kind of stare at it and enjoy looking at it. Um, it's kind of a pain because you kind of have to drive up there and then drive down and then turn around and come back and hope there's a spot to pull in. And then you got to walk along the side of the road and it's kind of a curvy road. So, I mean, I think it would be awesome if there was a better way to see it, but there's just not. And that's the thing with waterfalls is they just are where they are and you have to accommodate. And that's a thing. But I really love waterfalls. They're like one of my favorite things. And I have only ever seen one before I moved here once. So to be able to just go to one whenever I want is pretty cool. So the thing I would say that I thought was the strangest when I did move here is the fry sauce. So if you've never been to Utah or lived in Utah, you've probably never heard of fry sauce. It is a thing. There are recipes available online. Um, but, um, it comes in a bottle and, or if you go to the, if you go to like any restaurant pretty much, except for some of the major chains, they don't have it, but it just comes in like one of the little dip it sauce things. Um, and it's, I mean, it's okay. I don't really use it that much cause it's definitely not healthy, but, um, it's a major thing here. Like, do you want fry sauce or, oh, here's your fry sauce. And when we do deliveries, people be like extra fry sauce. Like just people love fry sauce. Um, and I guess it's just basically like mayonnaise and ketchup with like spices mixed in. I don't really know. Um, you can Google fry sauce recipe and maybe try it yourself. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's good. It's just like, I don't, I don't even use ketchup. So for me, like dipping my fries in anything is just weird. Um, and plus I make taro fries that definitely would not taste good. Um, so fry sauce is a huge thing. Also, um, fizz, it is a soda place. So like you have Starbucks and you have, um, uh, Dunkin' Donuts, Krispy Kreme, places like that. I mean, I guess Starbucks and Dunkin' Donuts would be the two major coffee chains. I mean, there are coffee places around here. Um, but Fizz is a soda place. And um, I'm going to show you right here. This was the line to get a soda at Fizz. At like 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, I like the, there's a Rock and Roca one. And it's like Dr. Pepper with like cream soda mixed in, which is really good. Um, I don't have sodas often, but like once every two weeks or so, or maybe once a month, actually it's probably been less than once a month since we moved here. But when I do decide I want to stop and get one, that's what I get. Um, and I generally do that on days where I've like missed breakfast and or lunch and I'll just grab a soda. Not definitely not a good substitution, but it definitely I'm feeling kind of like, Oh, you know, it definitely helps. <clears throat> but you can get all kinds of different sodas there. They do a Sprite and stuff like that. Um, but they add stuff to their sodas. So it's kind of cool. Um, and just like as a side note, because obviously it is a very heavily LDS area. Like literally there's like a church every mile or so for the same church. Um, and this was the line at Starbucks the same day. 
right after I got out of line from getting my fizz. So there aren't a lot of people going to coffee shops um, because the LDS church, we don't drink coffee. We don't drink green tea or black tea. Um, I drink the Yogi detox tea because it's herbal. But other than that, I don't, we don't drink that kind of stuff. We do drink hot chocolate though, um, which is good. Um, and so, I mean, that's the, I guess one thing that was kind of strange to me. Um, one thing I noticed with the grocery stores here, like you could put their ads side by side and all their prices are the same. So it's not like some places where you can like super save, like, yeah, you just go to whatever grocery store you want. The prices are all the same. Um, use your coupons, whatever. Uh, that's kind of my, like, there's a Lee's, uh, Kent's and a Smith's and they literally had all the same prices for all the same things. So it doesn't help you to like sit and go through different grocery store ads, except like right now our gro one grocery store is doing, um, like a bulk sale where you can buy like cases of stuff. And so that was kind of a good savings, but pantry's pretty full right now. So we really just didn't, weren't able to take advantage of it. Um, but it's okay. We don't need to do that. Um, having extra food on hand is not necessarily a thing we need. <clears throat> Let's see another weird thing. Um, or not weird thing. Um, it's not weird. It's just a thing. I grew up in Connecticut. And so we used to joke about Massachusetts drivers and how horrible they were. Massachusetts and New York drivers were the worst drivers. I think Utah drivers could give those drivers a run for their money. I have seen more people run red lights, like just straight up, not stop. Um, just horrible drivers. I don't know if they just don't have driver's ed here or what the deal is. Um, oddly though, people pull stupid stuff and cut people off all the time and nobody honks their horn. And of course, here I am, someone cuts us off, I'm like right on the horn, because you know, I grew up in New England, we use the horn as conversation piece. Um, so yeah, so, yeah, it's uh, drivers here are definitely not great. Um, definitely not amazing drivers in Utah. Um, there's a lot of rotaries. I don't understand it. Rotaries are insane and they're, they're everywhere. And there's one town where like every road you take, like you have to turn right here. You can't turn left. If you want to turn left, you have to turn right. And then you go up and then there's like a turn if you want to go back the other way. And so they have like these outside, like these, it's the weirdest thing ever. Um, I've never seen a traffic flow like this. I mean, I guess it works, but when you don't know what's going on, it's like, where are we going? What's going on? How do we do this? Like, I don't know. Like, it's just so frustrating. And, um, like the first time we drove down to Layton and we were going somewhere and we just thought, oh, we'll just make a left turn. And we started got down to the light and there was no left turn. And then we realized in order to turn left, we had to turn right. And we were already over in the left lane. So we were like, well, okay, I guess we'll just drive down and just wait and see when we can turn. And we ended up having to get over, turn right down another street, a turn around in a U-turn to go down and turn left, turn right. It was insane. Like I just, the traffic here, it's just crazy. Um, for the most part, like the highways here are like 75. So that's a good thing. Um, get places faster. Um, there are a lot of companies like direct sales companies and stuff that, um, are based out of Utah. So like when I do order from a friend or something, I get it quick. Like I just ordered my thrive patches night before last yesterday they packaged them um and put them out to ship and then today it's in my it's in my mail delivery haven't gotten it yet but it's coming today and so i thought it was kind of cool um people here are pretty nice um i haven't really <clears throat> run into wow um, I haven't really run into a whole lot of like rude people. 
I did have one Karen experience since I moved here. Um, there was a woman in a, um, in a, uh, what do you call it? A, um, there was a woman in a wheelchair and we went to the Deseret thrift store and she was asking someone, um, or she was, there was a woman in a wheelchair and she was, um, kind of looking at something. She was struggling to kind of reach stuff. So someone there being kind said, Hey, can I help you with that? And she said, no, go away. And I mean, she came in after us and we were kind of always in the same area as her. So that was the only time anyone offered her help. And she was honestly struggling. Um, and I do completely understand when people have disabilities, um, that they want to try to be independent. They want to do stuff on their own. They don't want to see like, they don't want to be seeming like they need to have some sort of like help. Um, but anyhow, so she rolled, she went down to the front and we had just finished checking out the same time as she was coming down. Like we were like right next to her. So we were checking out and someone at one of the registers was done and there was no one else. And she turned to him because the woman looked frustrated or whatever and said, Hey, is there anything I can help you with? And she's like, why won't everyone just leave me alone? And she started screaming. So I don't know if she had some mental health issues going on there or what, but I definitely felt bad for the people who did try to be nice and really got treated like baloney. Um, and there was more to it, but I'm not going to go into those details because it's just, you know, um, but yes, yeah, so, I mean, overall, um, the, um, <clears throat> the overall idea that I have about Utah is everyone seems pretty nice. We have some great neighbors upstairs and downstairs. There's nobody upstairs from us right now, but diagonally upstairs from us, you know, very nice people. Um, overall, I mean, things are very cool here. Like you can get, you can basically eat your way around the world here. If you want to, um, my favorite restaurant is ramen house. Um, they do ramen, which is amazing. We don't do it often maybe once a month. Um, but when we decide we want to do it, we do it. Um, and I just kind of figure out what the calories are and, you know, work from there. Um, cause ramen broth has a pretty stable calorie count. <clears throat> and then it's just like some noodles. Um, and their fresh noodles are not the dried salty noodles like you get in regular ramen, like you can buy from the store. And we, uh, I generally get it without meat. I won't sometimes get it with pork. Um, and then it just has like corn in there and uh, green onions. I think. And sometimes I'll throw an onion, uh, egg in there, but not all the time. Like the last time we got them, they didn't have egg in there, which was really strange. Um, but I mean, overall, I mean, there are some kids now around town who have come in for college because there is a college here in town. It's actually two. There's a technical college and then Weber State University is here in town. And my video just cut off all of a sudden. So... I'm just going to finish what I was saying when my video decided to cut off. Um, we have Weber State and Weber Tech University. Or Weber State University and Weber Tech. Um, so we have two colleges in town. And I'm just, you know, some of the kids come in and I'm not a big, uh, you know, I raise my kids to be completely not entitled. So when I run into entitled people, I just don't prefer it. Um, but some of the kids are cool. Um, it has kind of affected our grub hubbing and post mating and all those things. Um, cause a lot of them have signed up for that too. So there's a lot of us out there right now. Um, but I think that'll probably wear off. They'll probably just do it right now to get some money in the bank and then maybe just do it here and there after that, just to kind of like have money when they need it. Um, but yeah, so needless to say, so there's that. Um, and I mean, overall, I think Utah for me, has been an eight out of 10. Um, might be better once things are normal again, if they ever are. Um, I just know we've had a ton of really cool things get canceled that I really wasn't looking forward to experiencing and doing. Um, they finally opened up the natural history museum. So I'm sure I'll be going to that very soon. So my husband has been dying to go. Um, but I mean, overall it's, it's a pretty cool place with lots of stuff to do. Um, where we live is kind of country, but Ogden's like right there. 
<clears throat> so it doesn't take us long to get there. And overall, it's just, and you know, I mean, Salt Lake City, you can take a train, you can take a bus, you know, whatever. You could do all kinds of things. Um, or you can drive. Um, there's lots of things to do. And I think overall, it's a pretty cool place. Still trying to get down to Trader Joe's, but hopefully soon that will happen because I really want to go to Trader Joe's. I've never been to one. <clears throat> but I've heard they're really cool and they have lots of organic stuff and healthy stuff. And so I'm going to check them out. But otherwise, I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Or no, Friday. Have a wonderful day. Bye. Thank you.